Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Ghost Runner. This is episode 4. So, last time we saved the people of the base level from being gassed by air from outside the unsurvivable environment outside Dharma Tower. And now, we are still making our way to Dharma City via the Amida Elevator. We also went through another cyberboard, but it just gave us some more chips to slot in rather than any sort of new ability. So let's just get in here. Yep, I had a feeling there'd be enemies. Okay, we've got big guy with a shield. So I'm guessing we gotta get up behind him and stab him in the back. All right, I hit him and I think I bounced off, so. Does he have a shield from the back as well? How do I deal with you, big boy? So he doesn't turn so good. <laughs> like, don't do it, don't do it. Yeah, so you just get around behind him and stab him in the butt. I think I hit the edge of his shield last time, which is why I bounced off. Alright. No collectible. Oh, nope. I said that, and there is, in fact, a collectible. Right to the side. Kept you waiting, huh? Yeah, so you hit a shield and it kind of stuns you. So by themselves, really not a threat, but obviously when people are shooting at me in the back, that's going to be a problem. Oh, okay. New item acquired. Ghost Runner poster. Wait, what? The heroes have arrived. That's that's bad graphic design to have it. Theros. Part of an information campaign aiming to introduce Ghost Runners to Dharma Tower's residents. They were portrayed as agents of order and defenders of social hierarchy introduced by the architect. As long as you stay in your place on the social hierarchy, they will protect you. But if you get out of it, they will just kill you. So yeah, this place wasn't exactly a utopia before the Keymaster took over. Oh, okay. Even touching the shield will reject me. Balls. It's actually a pain to get behind them. I feel like that's gonna screw me in some big fights, is I'll end up like coming from above and hitting the top of their shield, and then just bouncing off and getting shot. Okay, we got a shielded shield man. Even better. Casually slash him as we run by. Okay, here's our our orb. I got sniped. Okay, where did I get shot from? I think it was over here. Okay, and then we just circle around again. Surprise this man, even though he knows we're coming. Maybe it's a little more generous with the hitboxes from above, so I don't bounce off the shield every time. There is a collectible here somewhere. Let's circle around again, see if I can get up top without jumping off. Oh, I kind of skidded off the top. Nope, he keeps trying to vault immediately. I wish he would just chill out sometimes. Let's see if we can just fucking jump up here. There we go. Use that vaulting to our advantage. Okay, what do we got? Credit cards? Money lost its value once the gates of the tower closed. Economy reverted to barter. As time went by, various token currencies were introduced. Funnily enough, credit cards became one such token. Stopping 
this machine. It should come to you naturally. Okay. So this, is this Dharma City? Or are we still not in Dharma City? It's hard to tell. There were a lot of cyberpunk-looking city areas. So now we can hack. It's not a great hack. That was easy. These motors were made with Atma chips in mind. Base engineers were able to control them with their thoughts. Like you did, just now. But I'm not a base engineer. Okay, I see the collectible. But how do I get the collectible? You think I can run along this wall here? I very much can, because there's a big old yellow thing. Architect Bust. With passage of time, bizarre forms of reverence for the tower's builder started cropping up among the populace. Some of them included worshipping the architect and his wife as the embodiment of perfection and ideal humans. So not only did they co-rule the tower, but they were actually married. So they were just collective tyrants together. Okay. Yeah, that was a bit of a, a bit too much of a jump to try and make. Because let's be real, I don't think the architect was that much better than the keymaster, even at this point. Uh, 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 uh. Hmm. What are the point of these things? Like, why are there big spinning things with? laser edges. What purpose do they serve in the tower? <laughs> From a practical perspective. Yeah. Ah, shit. Okay, so it's nice to know that I can actually unhack it. I don't just have to wait. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I shouldn't have slid at the end of that. <laughs> Alright, I don't see any collectibles, so let's just go. This is a, a learning to platform with new mechanics section. Wait, why was that there? Why was that outside edge there? Yep, give me the death. That, that. All right, we cool. We only made it through with like five deaths. I'm sorry, what is that out there? Is that a, a dog mascot for a protein shake? Hero. Hero Grande. Big dog. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was a quarter, but it was just a pit. Oh, now we gotta do this again. Definitely fucked that one up. Okay. I've accessed the local network node. We should know what their latest plan is soon. I bet she still won't give us any useful information, says the architect, because he can't be not a snide prick every time. Okay. Can't touch the walls. This is not great, not great. Our time is now. Shit. What was your plan? The climbers wanted to take over the elevator and move up to the city. Keys caught us halfway through our preparations. Why did they attack today? The Keymaster must have somehow found out about us. Or about you. Or maybe the architect gave us away so that we would be forced to work with him instead. Okay, there is a collectible over there. Uh, there's an enemy down there, but I think he's the only one in this room. Okay, I could just walk up there, so we don't need to jump across. Though, you know, we could get the drop on them if we do that. New sword. Mm, that one's pretty basic. It's just a very gold katana. I prefer these ones that actually have their own unique models. Actually, are these? No, these are different. Because the Sentinel's actually longer than the 
Surubger74. We'll, we'll use the stupid gold one for a moment, though. I mean, I like the little bit of digital effect on the end of it. Okay. They were getting impatient. Hmm. I'm realizing I can't actually jump through that. So rather than wasting a life testing it out, I'm just going to safely go across. We've got a problem. Again? They've just initiated system lockdown at Opta. What can we do? The lockdown will be in full effect until all the elevators reach the upper station. You need to get to the control room, fast. Okay, so we got another power up here. I think this is the shurikens that we saw, the energy shurikens. Okay, so it's not just one. We just get a period where we can throw shurikens. Do that. I was a little too low down. There we go. I just didn't have the height on that first jump. So that's going to be a new power up that we can take advantage of. I think it just gives us the option to kill people at a distance. Or, even better, destroy shields at a distance. Okay, we got more of these bug zappers, or whatever these are supposed to be. It's like just a big molten lantern thing. And I jumped right into one. Okay. Destroy that. What did I just do? I grappled for the worst thing. Okay, I'm just going in a loop here. I shouldn't have grappled. I don't need to grapple here. To kill that guy. Take out the drone. Take out the regular man. And then the shield, I think we're just going to have to leave alone for a second until we take out this guy. need a way to slow down their retreat. We could use the climbers' help right about now. Too bad they picked such a poor time to die for their cause. Wasn't it also your cause? They cared for their families. I care for their species. It's a matter of perspective, I suppose. But they say I'm the asshole. According to this, there's an enemy back here. I guess there must be a section over there. No collectibles, though. What did that do, exactly? I think we unlocked something. Okay, nothing hidden back here. Just making sure there's no nooks like up top. Doesn't look like it. Oh, that's not a shooting man. Can I get both of you? Yes. I just want more excuses to multi-kill with that. Alright, we got like a... an almost alley here where it's raining? That must be just dripping from above, or they have... some kind of natural weather system. Looks good though, I like these light shafts. I always like light shafts. Get implants. Oh, hello. Hold on. Oh, no. Why Why did I try to reverse that far in? I must have completely missed him. He just, like, jumped over my head without me noticing. 
Or one spawned in, because that happened again. Fella? There's no access to the terminal room from this side of the station, but I guess that's not a problem. Don't be fool. I won't be fool. Surprised that they didn't give me a room with shurikens to try out in a fight. What? <laughs> I think I got shot because I was stuck on the stupid thing. Alright, keep moving. It's really the key to survival in this game, much like Doom Eternal. Even if the, the methods are different, the idea of just keep moving, stay alive, is still the same. I feel so goofy trying to just circle strafe around him. Confuse them a little. You can do that. I'm no computer genius, but their system begs to be hacked. Besides, Atma makes it easy. The neural implant. Yeah. Everyone had them before the coup. Yeah, me sheepy. They're not mandatory anymore, but most people have them. Especially people with limb implants like me. Done. They just received orders to stop boarding the elevators and stand by. This will buy you enough time to get there. Right. Alright. Oh, almost slid off the edge. Feeling a little better in this episode about my performance, but it might just be an easier section than some of the previous ones. Hmm. There are some pipes over there that I can probably walk on. Nope, nope, nope. Calm down. Just want to see... Uh... It looks like there might be something up there. Maybe not. I mean, my sensor's not going off, so... I think we're good. It just so happens I can stand on those pipes. Which, you know, I prefer that. I prefer them letting me go over there, even though there's nothing over there, than just have, like, an invisible wall making me fall. Who left an entire pizza here, uneaten and freshly printed from a, a JPEG? Okay, how are we going to do these? I think we need to run along them. So we need them kind of like... This? That, that was a little awkward feeling. Felt like I wasn't really supposed to be trying to run on those. At least if I miss it and, you know, just hit the side, it doesn't do anything negative. Okay. Enemies ahead, but we are in the clear for the moment. Okay, another punch man. I'm always confused because they, uh, you know, I only pay attention from far away when they're shooting at me, so when it's just one of those guys, I don't even notice they're coming at me unless I happen to look at them. Chop that big ol' wait. I thought that was just his arm, but it was also his head. Surround him with just our two bodies. Alright, even in the future we've got dumpster fires. Are you gonna tell me there's nothing here? Nothing back here at all. Why is this whole section up here then? <laughs> if there's nothing here. Again, my secret sensor is tingling. Platform up there. Okay, this goes way up. So I don't think it's where I want to go yet. I might be able to get... No, that's too high. Hmm. Huh. 
I feel like there's got to be something up there, but of course there's not, because it would show up on my sensor. I'm just getting paranoid because I've missed so many. The Key Master knows that Amida is where we'll strike. They'll be ready. No other way up. There's one more operational station, but getting there will take you hours. You could climb all the way to the city, but that would require even more time. Well, why is there like an anarchy symbol here? I thought that was like a Half-Life 2, you know, Lambda symbol. <laughs> Showing that there's some secrets here, but no. There's the little, like, shanty eatery. Weird. Okay, those are not physical. Ooh, boy. <laughs> It was almost another wasted life. So, are we just going to use these shurikens for puzzles then? Wow, that doesn't give you a lot of time. I wonder if I have to hit the first one first, or if it just has to do with the time it takes for them to travel back up the wire. Because you would think that... This is one of those things where I get to aim in slow motion. Tower of Doom! But this is supposed to be the Tower of Life. Okay, there's a bunch of men waiting for us. Yeah, it's going to be hard to actually <laughs> aim those, I'm realizing. Or if they kind of auto-aim, it looked like they do kind of auto-aim based on... Yeah, they kind of track if they're near a target. Chilla? I like the helmet that just says howdy. Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the cyberpunk city. It's an existential nightmare. These also have these brain chips? Yes. Everyone born before the coup. Why? Can they be hacked? I... No, I don't think so. Are you sure? I bet I could hack their brains and make their heads explode. So, we got another collectible. Looks like it's straight ahead, though. Or is it gonna... Is it gonna be a tricky-dicky kind of thing where it's actually below? I guess I could just look. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything back there. I'm standing on this tiny lip. It's okay. This is recoverable. So the collectible is further back. We haven't missed it yet. So we can use the blink to just go right through their shield. That's just a freebie kill on them. It's good to know. Makes that ability a lot more useful. It's kind of just a way for us to erase a specific enemy or a specific small group of enemies from the fight puzzle. Because that's really what these are. A lot of these are fight puzzles where you're just figuring out, okay, who do I need to take out first? Okay, now I miss the collectible. You need to figure out who you need to take out first in kind of the best way to go about it. Okay, we got big old heat lamps here. This is how they heat the air. I wonder if there might be something down there. I bet if I fall down there, I still die, even though it's just literally a roof. Yeah. No. That's dumb. 
as is what I just did there. Mayonnaise? Why, why is that? Why is that an advertisement that just says mayonnaise? You'd think that mayonnaise would be extinct in this future because there's no chickens. The terminal is just ahead. Or maybe there is chickens. On the clock. Maybe there's a whole section of the tower that is just, you know, keeping animals alive. What is happening? Oh boy, that was very nearly disorienting. But also cool. But also disorienting. So you do this. Then I just jumped into a wall. Okay. What is that? Why is there like... I guess it's just how it normally looks, but it looks like there's a platform of just glitch there. The last elevator is reaching the upper station. Better jump right in. Hello? And that was me clicking out again, because I still have not closed my dock. Because I always forget by the time I get around to recording another episode. Okay, something I actually hadn't realized is that we can just... wall run forever. I kind of assumed it's like a lot of games where you have a couple seconds, and then you just fall right off. So I've been prematurely jumping at times I don't need to. But yeah, look, we can just wall run straight all the way across here. I'm not sure I like this mechanic, though, for how these shurikens work with switches. Because it does just kind of feel like I'm screwing myself. So I need to hit that one, then that one, then that one, in the course of a run. So hit that one first, then that one. And then that one right before. So that one has the least amount of time. Alright, we found another terminal. What kind of cyber things are you going to teach us today? Cyber Sensei. Cyber Void time dilation works in your favor, but you still don't have forever. The elevators will soon be beyond our reach. Okay. So this time we've got Lens of Truth puzzles. I remind you that the clock is ticking? Hurry it up. This place is impossible to navigate. Good. These firewalls are what's kept me alive for the last 20 years. Okay, so there's firewalls. That explains... Okay. Can't even wall run? That explains why there are all these weird, like, puzzles to figure out. So I was going to ask, why are they programmed this way? <laughs> why did you make it so hard to interface with the cyber void? So, it's not Lens of Truth puzzles, it's just, now I have to just guess where the walls are. Because... They're not going to give me any more lenses. So I'm just jamming myself against the walls to see what I can walk through. Oh. Or this whole... For some reason I thought this was just a window. <laughs> I didn't even think about the, the platforms. I mean, I guess this is their method of having a kind of change of pace. Cheer up. If you were a regular human, this would make even less sense. Well, now I am cheered up. But yeah, it's a little break from the combat, and they get you doing some platforming and puzzles. 
Okay. We need five cubes. Well, at least my slide still works. was supposed to happen. I didn't die that time. Interesting. Looks like there's a little something extra in the elevator's security scanner buffer. A little something. A partial Ghost Runner neural scan. We can use it to enhance your programming. Why is it there? One of you must have used Amida Elevator right before Morrow's insurgents disabled the internal security. Another Ghost Runner. It could have been you. Or it could be another Ghost Runner. This one's not really much of a puzzle, though. It is just literally guess what part of the wall you can walk into. I mean, they can also do this impossible spaces stuff because it is a cyber void. One of those ones where I have to walk backwards to get it to come closer. No, it looks like I'm actually teleporting backwards. Generally, every time you encounter this kind of hallway in a game, you just run backwards and it fixes things. Yep, see? That trick doesn't work when every game does it the same. Focus energy in your left hand and then let it all out. But why what? does this look Don't like this? Don't try to think. Just do it. I'm doing it. Yeah, so his left arm is the one that was ripped off and replaced with a much more basic looking arm. Yes. It's just a visualization anyway. How does it work in the real world? Rapid micro vibrations of your inner hydraulics. Sudden change in local pressure will result in a concentrated blast. Let's hope that piece of jump the climbers use to replace your arm can handle it. Yeah, how do you even know that thing has the right, <laughs> you know, vibrational bits? So... The primary application was crowd control. I like how much they vibrate. Force. Of course. There's no need to restrain ourselves now. Of course, it was actually very lethal. It just didn't kill you from the blast itself. What killed you was what you slammed into afterwards. There's a reason that they don't call it non-lethal force anymore. It's always just less than lethal. Not guaranteed in lethalness. One more thing. You can use Tempest to reflect projectiles. Give it a try. I mean a bullet is not necessarily lethal either, so you could say those are also less than lethal. I... was too slow. Like that. So, we, that'll let us deflect before we get shot. I hope this thing has a faster recharge Just than Blink, though. More practice, and we're done. Exquisite. Because we can't really use a blink very much in a fight. Like I mentioned before, it's pretty much once and then that's it. Splendid. But by the time we finish a fight, we've killed enough people that it recharges. Oh, 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 oh. Also, why does this look like a weird cyber Japan? Did you make it this way, architect? That's all there is to it. Alright. So I only missed one artifact, and that was the one that 
you saw, and then I didn't find a way to. Only 41 deaths this time, so I did do better than the last level. But it was also a shorter level. With less enemies? It seemed like there were less enemies. Okay, so we got new upgrades for Tempest. Longer range, or killing two more enemies at once with Tempest instantly refunds focus spent to use it, so we can use it again. Uh, we only got three more bars, though. Hmm, I kind of feel like we don't need Reflect, because you can still deflect shots so that they don't kill you, they just don't go back to the enemy. The amount of focus generated by killing enemies is slightly increased, so with that we could use our powers more often. Or dash extra charge two. Which makes the cooldown much heavier. I guess if we equip both of these, then we would have two extra dashes. And that's why this one is penalized. But, like, what can I really remove? I feel like I need to optimize my layout now and remove some stuff. Because, like, tactical overlay, I don't really need that. It's not essential, it's just a little bit helpful. So if I take this out, and take out Dash Reflect, hmm, I think actually, this can go here, and then this can go there, and that gives us a good amount of space to fit something in. So, I would like this dash extra charge. Like, that would actually be super useful. And it's kind of a waste of space, though. In that it doesn't quite fit nicely anywhere. I could put it here. And then, well, there's only one thing that would let me equip, and it's the one I unequip. Isn't it? Oh, no, that's X-Ray. Uh, well, what else would I want to equip? Aim time boost. That's actually not bad. It really only affects blink right now, though. Or maybe also dash? Blink area is also helpful, because obviously then I don't have to be so precise with the targeting. But that seems like a either-or upgrade for the range one. Like, either you're using a range, or you're using a wide sweep. I think the wide sweep might actually be better than the range, which is why it uses up more blocks. I could use the... the no, no, I can't. Hmm. could also do like a shape like that. Like, obviously I can rearrange these as needed. So there are options to fit specific shapes in here. Where could I fit this? Where would be a place where it would even... There's not really a lot of spots. This thing kind of fits into a big section. So I need a big open space to put it. I could maybe keep deflect... deflect? No, that doesn't quite fit. It's one too long. I mean, this doesn't matter that much. Obviously, you can still do anything without needing these upgrades. These are just extra. So I might leave this for now. Can I fit this up here? I could do it like that. And then maybe fit something in there. It really just depends on what I'm trying to fit, right? Like, I could go with Blink Area. And we've got our collectible radar, we've got an extra dash, and we've got two Blink upgrades, so our Blink can hit pretty much whatever. So that might be good for now. Right, let's just leave that. I don't want to spend too much time messing with these. Alright, so that will do it for Episode 4 of Ghost Runner feel a little bit better about this episode that I'm actually maybe improving a little bit but next time we'll put it to the test to see if I can keep it up because I would like to think that throughout this game I'm just going to get better to a point where some of these fights will be a breeze but we're not sure yet until next time 
Take care and keep running, folks.